Hi, here I am at the uh, Somerset town of Glastonbury in the United Kingdom. Now, many of you would have heard of Glastonbury Festival, which now it's not actually held here. It's held about two and a half miles away at a place called Pilton. We, and the festival used to be called Pilton Pop Festival. Now, as you can see behind me, most of what's going on in Glastonbury is on the main street. Um, there's Glastonbury Abbey, and another place that's recommended for a visit is the Chalice Well Garden. It's a great place. Um, the area I grew up in, there was a uh, fortune teller on every street corner um, who could read your tea leaves. So if you come here and you want some form of esoteric experience, this will cost you money, okay, and some of it's not cheap. But on the other side, it's a great day out. Now, I'm going to take a walk down to the Market Cross, and you can come with me. Okay, behind me, you will see the shops, um, all sorts of different uh, shops selling different things here. I used to like it back in the 90s here because it had a mixture of shops. There was, like, normal stuff and esoteric stuff. Now it's mainly all esoteric, which is good, but it, it can get a little bit, for me, a little bit samey. I mean, you may love it. I mean, it may be cool for you. Okay, people come here from all over the world, um, probably to find, find themselves. Um, lots of people come here for the festival, but like I said, that's two and a half miles up the road. It pilt. Okay. I, now, Glastonbury High Street, the road here is a very, very busy one. Um, I'm just going to make sure that I cross okay and don't get run over. Now, we're coming on to the Market Cross. Uh, the sun is very bright today, so I hope you can see the Market Cross coming into view in a minute behind me. Okay, there it is. Now, this is where... Um, Jeremy Corbyn's brother, Piers Corbyn, and the Flat Earth people held their anti-Covid protest during the UK lockdown. Um, I don't know, I'm not going to make any comment either way on it, okay? Um, but it is a great day out here, I mean, I like it. I mean, you've got, also you've got Glastonbury Tour. Now, Glastonbury Tour is about a 10 minute walk from here. It's not an easy walk, but once you get on top of the tour, you can literally see all over the Mendips, which is great. I mean, you know, you can uh, you have a great old time up there. And the Chalice Well Garden. Chalice Well Garden's good. It's quiet. However, I used to go to the Sawain Festival there. And everything was cool. And then the last time I went there, I used to smoke. I don't smoke now, but I used to smoke then. I lit up a cigarette and a lady came up and said, no smoking. I said, but we're in a field. And they wanted to push it. So, okay, so if you smoke, be prepared to uh, be told to put your cigarette out. Now, we've got the King William pub behind me. And we're going on through and there should be a fish and chip shop here if it's still here yes here we go knight's fish and chips i've never bought fish and chips in there but it seems like one of the most popular uh sort of takeaway food venues in the town um i'll just bring them into view for you here we go and you'll see it slowly slowly come up behind me there we go knight's fish and chips Okay, so with fish and chips, plenty of pubs, plenty of exercise, and some places which are uh, no smoking. I mean, it, it, it is, a, I must admit, I do come down here a lot, all right, okay? It's 30 miles from Bristol, gets you away for a day. I mean, you can't say fairer than that, can you? Um, let's see if we can get a better view of the market cross. Okay. Slightly better. There you go. You can see it there. All right. So lots to do here. Um, if you're a anti sort of esoteric person, 
Uh, there's an element of like there is stuff here which is going to wind you up, but if you've got an open, broad mind, you're going to be fine. Um, just take it all in your stride. I mean, like I said, plenty of places to eat. My favourite cafe is the Blue Note. I will walk up from the mar Market Cross up to the Blue Blue uh, the Blue Note, and you'll see it come into view. All right. Now this, like I said, this road is a nightmare it is an absolute nightmare yeah so make sure you get across it all right okay now we're going to head up and up to the blue note okay here we go yeah now the isle of avalon is near here so this place centers for King Arthur stories, um, Knights of the Round Table, all that type of thing, and that centres around Glastonbury, okay? Whether it's true or not, I don't know. But it does centre around this area. Alright, now we're coming up to the Blue Note. Now, I'm, when I finish this, uh, this vlog, I'm going to nip in the Blue Note and have a coffee, because you can sit outside and you can just take the air. Now, there you are, the Blue Note Cafe. So, once more around, there's Glastonbury High Street. Great place to visit, great day out, lots to do, lots to see. Um, you can get a lot of exercise here and a, and a lot of relaxation. Okay, here I am okay. at the top of the town. Now, at the top of the High Street is, a, is far more quieter. Um, the shops, become more normal again okay a uh, couple of Chinese takeaways and estate agents um, pet shop I, I mean I said it was all esoteric here it's not all esoteric but the majority of it is okay um, there's a computer shop florist a guitar shop um, and a charity shop which used to be a very good cheap jack shop in my home city of Bristol, there was no such thing as a pang shop uh, 20 years ago, and I used to come to these places where they would do things for five or three or two pangs, and it's a, it was a great place for buying Christmas presents. Um, yeah, Somerset, but now obviously Poundland of uh, cornered the market where I live. I'm, uh, I tend to go in there a lot, but you still, you don't get that uh, sort of like cheap shirts and uh, that type of thing in Poundland. It's not quite the same. I mean, this place, which is now um, which is a charity shop, that used to be the uh, cut price budget uh, fancy goods household in, uh, uh, with a hint of menswear about it, yeah, which was good. Now, over the road is an organic supermarket which is very good I mean if you're into organic things um, me being a sort of working class guy from a uh, Bristol's most notorious housing estate I tend to stay away from organic things it's not really part of my uh, but it is good in there all right they do sell all sorts of things and chocolate and I don't know vegetables and all sorts it's worth a visit yeah what's it called it's called earth care yeah so if you do come here take a visit in there because like i say if you've got an open mind and you're cool with things take a visit in, go in there and have a look around so i mean some of it is what you might like okay so we're going to go past the beckett's in now and then slowly but surely we will come down and to where i was before now, you do get one or two people begging here, all right, okay. Um, there are some people here who can be a little bit antisocial, but not generally not. They, they won't hurt you. Um, it, it, there is an element of that here, okay, so be warned, you know. Um, but yet, no harm will come to you here whatsoever. I can guarantee you that. I mean, I've been walking up and down this street on and off for the last 20 years. Uh, well, more than that. Um, and no harm's ever come to me. All right. It, like, um, here we go. And we're, we're, like I said, we're coming back down now. 100 Monkeys Cafe. That's another uh, 
they're a good place. Um, I used uh, used I don't use it so much now, but I used to use it. Okay, um, and slowly coming down the road, there's the uh, Avalon Conservative Club. There, it's not my strain of politics that conservatism. Um, probably packed with punters down here in Somerset, though they're all a bit conservative here. Um, not glad, for me, I'm glad I come from Bristol, where things are not conservative. So, a uh, couple of charity shops here, all right. Charity shops in this place generally are good. You can have a, a really good dig through them and see what they've got to offer. Um, you might find something good. But then again, you might not find anything at all. But <laughs> it's worth a lot. And there, there isn't too many charity shops on the high street. No. Um, there... No, there isn't, which can... But you know, coffee zero. I've never been in there. Yes, I have. I tell a lie. Um, uh, I came here and sat outside. I tend to, with COVID, about sit outside of a lot of places nowadays. I don't. I don't sit inside. I don't confine spaces. Not really. Okay. Lot of you know, um, esoteric shops again. Uh, I tend to buy some clothes down here. Some of the clothes shops are really good. And, but you've got to be careful though. If you're going to do a Glastonbury style trial, yeah, be warned, okay? If you buy something that looks great walking along down here, what's it going to look like walking around in your hometown? <laughs> so if you live in suburbia and you buy yourself an orange rainbow um, flea zip up fleece, you got to start wearing that, you know, it might not work out for you. So, like I said, just have a good thing before you buy it, all right? Because you could be stuck with something. But I, like I said, I've bought clothes here, and they're great. Um, you know, it looks cool as well. People compliment me on it when I walk around. Hey, where did you get that jacket? And I say, well, I got that jacket in Glastonbury. Yeah, and they're like, wow, that's so good. I, I just love it. I mean, everybody likes compliments, don't they? So, I think that's behind me is St. John's Church. Okay, they are open sometimes and they sell coffees in there. Yeah, uh, people scurrying behind me there, don't want to be on video. Yeah, yeah, very much scurrying, scurrying. Good morning. There you go. Local gentleman there wishing me a good morning. In, in fact, it's not the morning, it's the afternoon, but he said hello anyway. Yeah. There you go. Uh, is that St. John? No, it's sorry, I tell a lie, it's St. Benedict's Church. Yeah, absolutely wrong there. All right. Now, carrying on down the high street, and I'll show you the crystal shop. We're going to come back down in a minute to where we were just now. Right, so, what have we got? Crystal shop. There you go. I'm not into crystals. Yeah, crystals do absolutely nothing for me. Yeah. Can't see the thing in it, you know. Um, Perhaps they do stuff for you if they do come down and drop in there, you know. There's there obviously would be a warm welcome for you. Alright. And uh, like I said, we're coming back down now to where we were just now. Alright. And we've got the Excalibur Cafe. Alright. There we go. There we go, got it in the view. Another uh, another good cafe. Alright, another good one. I've been in all of these down here, but my favourite is the Blue Note. I don't know, just something about it. It's just, for me, it's just a little bit more, I don't know, it just suits me. Yeah, this shop here is worth, uh, I don't know if they're open. Yeah, they're, they're, this, this one, I love this one. Wild Wood, yeah, yeah, yeah. Worth a visit, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they even if you're not going to buy anything, it's like worth looking inside. It's like Santa's Grotto all year round. Yeah, and sheepskin shop coming up. All right. Oh, and the famous Burns to Bread. Now, Burns to Bread. Burns to Bread. Yeah. Okay, Burns to Bread. Okay, here it is. Now, they sell the best sausage rolls, pasties, cakes, buns, and everything. I mean, they used to sell these lamb mint sausage rolls. I used to have two of them before my days of healthy eating, yeah? Yeah, uh, two of them. I, 
they were so nice and I've only ever found them for sale here. Yeah, so if you're, in, and again, if you're into lamb and mint sausage rolls, come down, fill your boots, yeah. Okay, so you'll see the assembly rooms. Now the assembly rooms, let's take a walk down. The assembly rooms is, uh, it's all right, actually. This is where they have sort of events and things. Another good cafe in there. Now, I used to be a regular in this cafe as well. Um, they used to sell falafels in there, which were, were, were cool. Yeah, this, the assembly rooms, um, they tend to have like uh, mini markets or psychic fairs, that type of thing in there. Um, I'm not gonna walk in anywhere and film because people can get a bit funny about that without asking them. But there it is there. Um, yeah, great place. I've uh, hung out in there um, many a time. Yeah, 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 it's good. Yeah. This used to be a shop here, but I don't know what it is now. It looks like somebody lives in there. <laughs> Maybe perhaps they do. I don't know. Um, for me, I wouldn't live at Glastonbury because you, you want to be able to visit it, don't you, and go home again. All right. There you go. Lady nearly walked into me there. There you go. So. Anyway, just heading back down to where we were just now. And we're coming back down again towards Blue Now. Now, shop here, Harvest Moon. I went in there just now. Yeah, Harvest Moon. Yeah, very good. Um, another place that's great to visit. It's all great to visit here. I mean, we got what I call it Dickett's, the uh, arts material shop coming up. And another place if you like books, the speaking tree. Now the speaking tree is good, it, it's worth a visit, a lot of good books in there. But my favourite bookshop is down here, it sells second hand books. Yeah, um, it's good. I, we're just gonna, it's called Courtyard Books. Now Courtyard Books sell all your sort of like King Arthur, spiritual, esoteric, with a few other things thrown in. A lot of biography books there, for some reason. And I probably, when I finish this part of the video, I'm gonna go in and have a look. Uh, not to forget the Pil George and Pilgrim's Hotel behind me. Very sort of like, I don't know what the state of it is. It's uh, well, very oldy worldy, isn't it? You know, possibly Elizabethan. Um, when you go in there, it looks like something from a film set. Yeah, you look, you, you look like you're, uh, you know, sat in a sort of like, I don't know, an, Eliz an Elizabethan house, which you probably, which you are. Um, yeah, it's, it, that's worth a visit, Georgian Pilgrim. Anyway, like I said, I mean, I have a great time out here. Um, watch the road. Do not cross this road without looking. I tell you, it, it can get vicious down here. Okay, so I'm going across the road now, I'm trying to get you a good view behind me of... There we go, how about that then? Yeah, there you go. That's the high street, and the, you know, the sun's mildly shining today, it's not that cold, the rain has stopped. Um, plenty of people about down here, you've got to wear a mask in every shop you go in, which is good, I'm in agreement with that. Um, some wealthy person there going up the road in a car. Uh, anyway, I, I'll reserve judgment on that. Um, yeah, so like I said, worth a visit. And until next time, bye.